Ellis and you are watching Amusements on YouTube. So today is Saturday, what I want to call hashtag self love Saturday. This is the day that's all about selfies and self love, loving the self, taking care of the self and nurturing ourselves. And I want to share with you one of the things that I do in order to treat myself well. I keep a tracking sheet. This is something we learned at the University of Santa Monica, the School of Spiritual Psychology, and I want to share with you what this looks like. We have a sheet that gives us the whole month, and in each section we have the mind and the body and the soul. So we have physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual goals. And what we do is what I do is I write down goals in each of those categories that I want to uh, practice in order to stay balanced and to be in harmony, in order to keep my uh, jets fueled, if you, so to speak. And one of the ways that I do that is by keeping this tracking sheet. And I check off, like, if I, you know, let's start with just physical yoga. How many times do I intend to do yoga in the month and how many times have I actually done it? And this is not to beat myself up. As you can see, I have bike on here, go biking, but I haven't been on my bike at all this month. But I'm going to keep it on there and I'll put it on next month when it's a little sunnier and there's not so much rain and I'll go out on my bike. But it's just something I'd like to introduce to you guys. You can do this on a calendar. If you want to, you can do it on your computer calendar, however, your agenda, just to write down your monthly goals. What do you want to do for your body? What do you want to do for your heart? What do you want to do for your mind? Are you reading power books? I, um, I have books that I read for my, you know, to keep my mind going and uh, things like that so that, you know, time doesn't just go by and I ignore healthy things. It's like good food for the body, the mind, and the soul. Lucky girl. You're inspiring me